Hi everybody, welcome back to Xanima. So, we're brushing up on our skills after a long hiatus. Yesterday, we ran through the old school arena, and we managed to defeat everyone in both the novice and the expert arenas. We were mainly using a two-handed sword, but I also uh, used a little bit of polearm action towards the end of the expert arena. Today, I'm going to do basically the same thing, but I'm going to use different weapons. So we'll start with the novice practice arena. And let's go ahead and put in the old name, adjust the body to be a little more buff, a little more tall. I don't have a good reason for any of this. I'm just doing it at this point. It's just a compulsive ritual. Um, and like yesterday, we'll get the mane of flowing hair, even though it's not going to matter because we'll have a helmet soon enough. Okay, so rather than go with the two-handed sword today... I kind of want to mess with the bill hook because I really love this weapon when my range is, is well when it's on it's not usually on but when it's on this can be a very devastating weapon so let's just go ahead and use the bill hook for a while see what happens all right started with the overhead not the best result but we did get him in the leg with it and it looks like my range is on right now, so that was perhaps pre <laughs> pretty nice. Not gonna lie, let's go to the next fight. And we'll start again. Whoops. It always takes me a couple fights... Oh my goodness, yes. It takes me a couple fights to, to get that overhead working, but... Once you get it working, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Whoops. I let my guard down there for a second. Let me get out of the corner. This is not what I want. I want to try another overhead, even though it's dumb. Sets me up for a counterattack, like a real bad counterattack every time I miss with it. Oh, there we go. So he's got like this hook action here, that weapon, but I don't like it better than the bill hook, so we're not going to mess with it. However, we will take the tunic. We will take the uh, inspector, uh, what was uh, inspector? Curious George, the guy in yellow, he had like a yellow version of these boots. Why was I saying inspector? Maybe I'll get of Inspector Gadget. Hell if I know. Don't listen to me. Alright. Here we go again. Ah, damn. I was really thinking that was going to be the overhead that was going to land. Okay, we managed to strike right above that shield. I like that shield when an enemy has it because it's very, very small, that buckler. It, whoops. It usually does not pose too much of a problem. Of course, because I have said that, it will. So I'm going to try and duck and get some lower strikes go under. Of course, left to right would also help. Ah, we, ah, we just missed. That was going to be... Oh, man, that was going to be dirty. It was going to be filthy. Kind of like that blow right there to the crotch. Okay, do we want anything from here? I don't think we do. Uh... No, we don't want any of that. Okay. Alright, let's land this overhead. Eh, technically, we did land it. It wasn't... I want to hit on the dude's head. Alright, well let's let's give up on that for now. And I'm still I'm rushing into attack. I'm being too aggressive. I'm not following my old style of counterattacking. I need to think about that a little more. So let's go ahead, put on the old waistcoat, the chain vest, the cap, and I think we're good on that stuff, yeah. Oh my god! That was amazing! Oh, that was amazing too. Oh man. Okay, what's going on here? Now we're... Okay. Let's try... Hmm. Oh, damn. I want to hit her in the head. There we go. I love that. Okay, so you know how this goes. We gotta put on the Uggs, even though I hate them. We gotta put on the ladies... Um, what is the waist or leather vest? But we get van braces. Don't want the shield. Uh, what is that? Four and a half. Ooh. Okay, so these are slightly better. Yeah, put those on. And as always, we are going to say hell no to the salmon shirt. Because that's just not my color. Okay, that was obviously very risky. And I paid for it. I'm not used to them starting a match off with a thrust. I'm just kind of 
Of course, then again, I don't really wait to see what they're going to do at the beginning of the match. I just automatic overhead, which is probably stupid. Yeah! Oh, I love the range on this build hook. I really do. It's just, it's just right. Whatever it is, it's just right. So we're going to take the belt, the gauntlets, and I th think this leather tunic is the same as the one we have on. Let's see here. Full half. Oh, it's actually better. Okay. Well, let's throw that on the ground, even though the encumbrance does not affect you in arena mode. Okay, by the sound of her agonized shriek, I think we landed that attack, even though I didn't see any blood, and I don't know exactly what part of the weapon I hit her with. Oh, beautiful. Now, I, as usual, I should be doing mainly left-to-right attacks because of her shield. So let's work on that. Oh, yes! Hell yes! I don't know what that was, but that's my little hell yes song. Okay. Spalders. Check. Fan braces. Check. New gauntlets. Check. Leather greaves. Yeah, we're going to have to say goodbye to the Uggs. It's a sad day. And that's... Nope. And nope. And we'll switch out the chain vest. All right, yeah, let's move on. Okay, we're here against... Okay, not bad. The final dude in the novice arena. Now, we're both going to be attacking from a similar range, so that could make this difficult. Oh, but it didn't. Biatch. All right. That felt good. So, let's go to the expert arena and uh, see if our good luck will hold up. And it won't. Okay, go to practice, go to expert. All this stuff is in order. Now we want to put on the gambeson. And there's something else, the cloth leggings. That's what we want. And I th think we're good on everything else. So the question is, do we continue using the bill hook? And the answer is, yeah, why not? Let's just see how far we can get with it. Hmm. Sometimes I get a little too close, thinking that I'm using the damn sword still. There we go. I really should not be in the corner like this. Oh, this is dumb. This is stupid. Come on. Oh, man. I'm trying to... Waiting to counterattack, but my range is way off when I'm doing that. There we go. There we go. I like that very much. Okay. So, we will switch a few of these things. Chain gauntlets, chain leggings. Uh, we already got that taken care of. We don't want the Uggs. Don't care about your velvet trousers or the cloth shirt, so we can move on. Uh, well, it's worth a shot. Oh my good god, that was beautiful! Something just occurred to me. I haven't landed a single... I have landed a couple overheads, but none on the head, which are the greatest ones. I really got to fix that at some point. So I'm, I'm doing that thing where I intentionally miss with my right to left, but keep holding the mouse button down, because it'll automatically combo to a left to right. And I used to have a decent system for that, but it's not really clicking. Let's try to go under the shield real quick. Oh, that's not the way to do it. Uh, well, it looked like we didn't even hit her with the blade, but she was so low on health we got her anyway. I will take it. Thigh-high boots, as you know. Not only are we not going to put them on, we're going to take them and throw them on the ground just to show how distasteful they are. Uh, these fan braces are kind of fancy looking. We'll put them on. And I don't think we want any of that. No, we don't. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's please, please land. Whoa, okay, but as usual, we ducked under the attack, so... Oh, nice. Ooh, equally nice. Not nice at all. Okay, I've got the range advantage slightly here. So I can kind of kind of hang back a lot if I want to. And I can step right in and get that attack to land. Usually pretty pretty consistently. Whoops. Not that time. Alright, there we go. And that's very tempting looking at that Bardiche, but we used the Bardiche yesterday. We're not going to do it again today. Let's put on the Lamellar. 
And I think we're good. Yeah, okay. All right. Ooh, now that was pretty. Oh, yeah. This guy really annoys the shit out of me because that sword is so fast. Oh, shit. Always get into trouble when I'm in the corner. Especially when I'm trying to move the camera around and when I'm trying to position myself to, to get out of there. I should probably have a little more of an active defense when that's happening. Now, I should not be aiming in general for his torso because he's got that plate, uh, that breastplate on. Probably have better luck doing damage to his legs or maybe even his arms, even though he does have some plate there as well. Okay, I'm doing just terribly right now. Ah, it's, I'm telling you, it's the speed of that sword. It just throws me off. Okay, there we go. Not too bad, all things considered. So we're going to go ahead and put on that breastplate. And the are these spalders or are they now epaulets or whatever? Oh, no, they're rear braces. There's something else I don't know how to pronounce. What difference does it make? Okay. And I don't want to switch that. I do like the red gambeson. I do like the red chain leggings. And I do like, we're just, you know, we're going with the Christmas theme. We're going all red here. All right. Okay. One more of these dudes before we get to the three armored menaces at the end. But I'm thinking we'll be okay with our billhook against those armored dudes. So, well, fully armored, I should say. Oh, shit. I tried to stay ducked for longer because I saw that attack coming, but he popped back up. Damn. Oh, man. This guy is much more aggressive than I remember. And here we are in the usual problem situation. There we go. I'm not focusing enough on swinging all the way through and making my attacks really sting. I've got to pay attention to that. There we go. Okay, so, oh man, we're not going to have all that much health to work with going forward. That kind of sucks. Put the coif on. Uh, we'll put that helmet on. And uh, we'll switch the belt too for the hell of it. And I think that's all we're taking. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here goes nothing. Oh, man. Even when I have a successful overhead, it still opens me up to counterattacks in a way that I just do not like. Alright. Damn, it's hard to get out of range of his shit after I move in for the attack. The thing is so long. This is not looking good. I'll be the first to tell you that. Damn, that was dumb. Why did I swing? Oh man, he was just asking for it after that overhead. I was too slow, man. Now, the one thing I could try to do is kind of clinch, you know, get in real close because I would have the advantage there, but I would still not, I still have a little bit too much range on my weapon for that to be effective. It's not like the Bardiche, for example, which is much shorter. Oh my god, I can't believe I survived that. But, oh man, I have even less than half of my health going forward. Shit! Okay, so normally we we pick up the old pull hammer. But again, we did that yesterday, so let's just try and stick with the bill hook, even though I'm pretty much guaranteeing my own death in the next fight. It's okay, because as long as people are entertained... Whether I die or live is not important. Oh my god. Ah. Ooh, shit. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could try to get in close to prevent him from fully swinging through on his attacks. And I do seem to be landing some attacks here. See, he's still doing a little bit of damage with the, the damn shaft. See, when I get in here, yeah, it's not, I don't think it's helping me all that much. 
Oh, that was dumb to step back. Don't. Let's stay cl Oh, no. We gotta commit. We've got to commit. Stay close. Stay close and keep pounding them. Oh, shit. Okay. All in all, it wasn't a bad run, to be perfectly honest, but let's choose a different weapon now. Hmm. I wonder what we'll go with this time. I kind of want to go either sword and board or go with the the mall of the Americas. Oh. You know what? Just for something a little bit different, we'll go sword and board for now. Uh, oh man, I ooh, kind of want to go morning star and board to be honest. Yeah, what the hell? Let's do it. So we've got superb armor. Oh, nice overhead there. So we got superb armor, we got a shield, so I mean I feel pretty confident in these early fights when I'm arrayed in such a fashion. I'm gonna try lots and lots of overheads, by the way. Uh, because obviously the Morning Star is quicker, shorter range. Uh, we don't need to pick anything up because we're good basically until the end here. Damn it! Okay, so the thing that I have trouble with when it comes to the shield is having faith in the shield. <laughs> you know, uh, you don't actively block. There's no button to press to block. So you kind of have to have faith that you're facing the incoming strike properly. So that's a little nerve-wracking. But it's something you get used to. Okay, I need to... I want to go with overheads, because then I, I can kind of negate her shield if I'm just striking overhead at her skull all the time, but I keep missing. Oh, oh shit! Did that get caught on her shield? That looked like it got her. Okay, there we go. Yeah, see? Just go to the overheads when in doubt. Let's move right along. No red damage, thankfully. Ah, oh, damn. Well, we got, eh, we got a piece. That's better than nothing. Let's try it again, too. Uh, oh, shit. We managed to knock him down. That'll work. Ooh, got him in the arm. I should be going for his legs. Because even though those cloth leggings are nice, they're not as nice as that lamellar. But, let's move. Ooh, man. Look how bloody that damn morning star is. We've been doing work. Okay, we managed to follow through even though we took that hit there. It's okay. Now here's another situation. Now he's got the gambeson and the breastplate. Another situation where I might be better off going for the legs, considering that there's only chain... Well, it's not only chainmail. I think he has... I think he has the cloth leggings on under that too, the red ones. Same ones I'm wearing, coincidentally. Damn. All right, forget those overheads for now. Let's just try to get those legs. Oh, I'm doing extremely poorly at that. There we go. Nope. Well, how? Damn. Just need one solid hit with this damn thing. See. I'm doing very poorly, but luckily because of this obnoxious plate armor I have on, I'm not taking much in the way of damage, and we'll have full health for the next fight, which is glorious. And I can't even hit him when he's dead. There we go. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's uh, let's move on. Oh, destroyed his knee with that. Oh God, that would have to hurt so terribly. Oh man. Okay, here we are in our usual. Stupid position. There we go, there we go. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay, that counts. Okay, that counts as an overhead hitting somebody in the skull, even though he's wearing a helmet and there wasn't blood splatter. And it wasn't. And now, the more I think about it, the less glorious it is, but I don't give a damn. Ha! Okay. Okay, that was a dumb risk to take, but I am Odin. And dumb is both my first, middle, and. Well, actually, my last name, too, so. Not a big deal. So here's what what am I doing? I need to move in. I need to stay close. Cuz I've clearly got the advantage if I can yes. 
Oh god, I always miss with those overheads when they're prone. But yeah, this dude's gonna have a real hard time dealing with me if I can stay in real close. Oh shit! I did not expect that. Uh, it's cool because his weapon, his pull hammer, will sometimes get hung up on my shield, too. Which is another benefit to being in real close here. Oh, but I keep... Man, I'm leaving myself open for some really stupid hits here. And it's actually starting to get pretty close to knocking my ass out. This is not good. Let me, <laughs> let me back up and rethink shit for a minute. Oh, God, I thought that was going to be a solid hit right there. It was just a little bit off range-wise. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, overhead. Fuck it. Whoa. And overhead again. Fuck it. And again. And again. All right, it's all overheads from here on out for this fight. Because that way I can stay in close. All overheads, remember. Ah, oh, God, I'm just not doing much in the way of damage. This sucks. And this would be an ideal weapon against plate, you would think. Because it's got piercing and crush damage. Oh, we're about to die. Shit. No. Ah, oh, sh shit all over me. Okay. Obviously, we need to choose a different weapon. So, well, we're going to go with the Mold of the Americas this time, just for a change of pace, and see what we can get done with this. Oh, you bastard. I love it. There are few things more satisfying than a hit with the Maul. Especially when you really put some juice behind it. Oh, God, just like that. Oh, and of course I miss when he's prone, but that's... Oh, shit! Mmm. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. Yes. And yes. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, hell. All right. As usual, we're going to go for this dude's legs. <laughs> yes. No. There we go. Look at that. Two hits to his legs with the maul, and he's dead. I like that very, very much. Ah, oh, damn. I'm not done yet. Okay, maybe I am done with the overheads now. No, I'm not. Eh. Oh, God, if he hadn't blocked that, that would have been brutal. Yes! <laughs> oh, God, I love the maul of the Americas. Why did I ever not use the maul? Why... I should use this all the time. Oh, I thought I was going to smash his foot that time, and I would have loved it. Ooh! God! Oh, everything just feels so right when you're using the maul. Oh, shit, that was fast. I was not ready. Hmm. Yeah, either left or right is what I should be doing, or maybe trying to go under... Oh, that was not good. Go under his shield if I can. Oh, I hate when I do that. I just slam the weapon right into the ground. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, damn. I was going to come back around with the left right. I could have sworn we were going to hit it. That's okay. Oh, good God, yes. Man, this is, you know, honestly, this, this particular... Uh, playthrough right now with the mall. It, it's bordering on orgasmic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to put like an NC-17 rating on this shit. But this is, you know, it's... The violence has risen to a level that is truly erotic. <laughs> that just sounded so wrong. But it felt so right. Alright, I am not losing... I am not losing to this piece of shit this time. It is not happening. Ow. Maybe it is happening. Okay, here we are, as usual, in the corner like a fool. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a good hit. I know it. Okay, I, you, come on. You'd think he'd be down by now. I've landed some pretty solid hits, and crushing damage is good against plate. Oh, or it should be anyway, if it's not. But I'm sure it is. Oh, shit. There we go. All right. Now, I'm already wearing um, his armor. It's the next guy we haven't beaten yet today. Okay. Hmm. Or the next lady, I should say. She's not a dude. Ooh. Ah, oh, damn, I was going to say, I'm feeling it. But I kind of am. It's kind of true. Ah, oh, shit, come on now. Ugh, there's like no force behind most of my swings in this fight. I need to get it together. There we go. That's what we're talking about. No, no, I missed. Shit. There we go. Hell yes. Alright, so now we can put on this armor just in time to get our asses handed to us by the seven foot Daedra. Always a blast. Ooh, superior chain leggings on underneath this stuff. Ooh, and a superior gambeson underneath that stuff would be good too, because this is just a regular gambeson, that is right. Alright, folks. Here goes absolutely nothing. Don't fail me now, Maul. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, shit. Okay, I stood there instead of backing up because I was willing to take the the hit from the wooden part of his weapon. Otherwise, if I would have backed up, I'm pretty sure the blade would have nailed me. So, it was a compromise. Oh! Shit, yes! Oh, damn it. Yeah. Yeah. I always get hit when I'm backing off like that. I need to... God damn it, I need to learn my lesson. No. No. I love those little glancing blows like that for some reason. Alright, you piece of shit, seven-foot dangerous son of a bitch. I've had it with you. I've had it with you. Shit. There it is. There it is, you son of a bitch! Hell yes! Alright, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's good to be playing Exanima again. It really is. And God, I love that mall. Anyway, thanks for joining me, everyone. Please hit like and subscribe. And then, for absolutely no good reason whatsoever, tell your friends, Hey, there's this shitty-ass YouTuber that plays this pretty sweet-ass game, Exanima, and you ought to watch it. Alright, see you guys next time.